Hi dancers, welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. My name is Sam and today we are doing a warm up for ballet class. So this is pretty self explanatory. We are just gonna roll through some sequences that are perfect to get your body prepped and primed for a full ballet class. So it's gonna be fairly short, only about 15 minutes or so, and we're just gonna jump right in and get started. You're gonna get started on your hands and knees. So with your hands right underneath your shoulders, knees right underneath your hips, making a tabletop position. And we're gonna roll through some series of cat and cow. So on an inhale, arching your back, lifting your gaze up towards the sky. Exhale, curving the spine, head and tail coming closer together. Inhale, arching, and exhale to curve. Let's take three more rounds following the own pace of your own breathing. So arching on the inhale, curving on the exhale, really just starting to wake up your spine, wake up your core. And last round. And once you finish your final round, you're gonna to come to another neutral spine. So feel your belly button pulling in towards your spine in this position. And we're gonna fire up the core a little bit more. So from here, extending your right arm and left leg and lifting those limbs up into the air, keeping your belly button pulling in. And then on an exhale, bringing those limbs back down. Inhale, reaching left arm and right leg. And exhale, back down. Opposite side, trying not to um, arch through the lower back at all. So we're keeping the core nice and strong. Nice, everything is nice and engaged. We're not letting the belly dip towards the floor. Right arm, left leg, inhale up. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, other side. Exhale, back down. One more round. We're also trying to maintain a parallel position here with that back leg as we lift. And very good. Now from here, we're going to lift up our right leg and we're going to flex into that foot. Keep it parallel so it's not turned out in an attitude here. Totally square, 90 degrees. And you can let your back arch slightly just to lift that leg up into the air. And we're just going to pulse. So just very lightly as if you're trying to put a footprint on the ceiling. Very lightly pulsing that leg up. Keep your belly button pulling in here. So even though the back is arched, we're still engaging the core. Kind of just like you would if you were finding an arabesque position. And then we're gonna hold there, point through the foot, lift your left arm, reach it around behind you, grabbing the outside of that right foot, and then kick your foot into your hand, just to come up. And stretching a little bit into that hip, into your quad, and perhaps into the front of your chest on the left side. And from here we will very gently release that right leg back down onto the mat. Now we're gonna reverse that on the other side. So lifting the left heel up, again, keep it turned in, knee pointing directly towards the floor. Then you can slightly arch through the back, but keep your core strong as we pulse that left leg, making that footprint on the ceiling. Make sure your shoulders are still pushing down away from your ears here. Keep breathing steadily, make sure you're not holding your breath. And then we'll stop pointing through that left foot. Your right arm this time is gonna reach all the way around behind to reach the outside of your left foot. Kick into your hand to lift it up, finding this nice curve with the body. Breathing deep. And we'll gently release that leg and arm back down onto the mat. From here, you're gonna bring your knees all the way together, tuck your toes, place them on the mat, and then just send your hips back towards your feet. So really stretching into your arches, into the soles of your feet here. You might notice on one foot, your toes are closer to the mat than the other, which is totally normal. But just breathe through that stretch, stretch for a couple of breaths. And then we're gonna lift the arms all the way up overhead. And on an exhale, you're gonna to twist towards the right, moving your arms forward and back. And then inhale, back to center. Exhale to twist. 
Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. And exhale, twist. You might start to feel this in the feet a little bit. And exhale to twist. Inhaling up. Really twisting from your navel. And up. Last round. You got this. To the right. And center. And left. And center. And we'll release forward. Just stretch through those feet. Maybe tap them onto the floor. That's of course really good to stretch out your feet for your demi points and rises and releves, all of that great stuff in your ballet class. The next thing we're gonna do is just send your arms back. So they're back behind you, fingertips pointing forward. And then you're just gonna lift up. So lifting those knees off of the mat and just allowing the front of your ankle and the front of your foot to kind of stretch a little bit more. And you might need to play with uh, where your hands need to be in order to feel this stretch the most. But again, just really warming up those feet, which are of course very, very important for us in ballet. And lowering the knees, bring your hands forward, tuck your toes, and make your way up to your first downward dog. And since this is our first down dog, you can paddle through the feet, shake your head out yes and no to release the neck, let your shoulder blades wrap around your ribs. Lots of space for your neck. So from this down dog, we're gonna lift the right leg up towards the sky. You can allow your hip to turn out. So lifting that leg as high as it'll go and then bend into that knee, just so we can open up that hip a little bit more. Really breathing into the stretch. And then on the exhale, swing that foot forward, step it in between the palms and drop the back knee. So we're coming up to a low lunge. So feel your core engage, knee right over top of your ankle, arms reaching up overhead, right beside your ears, nice and tall. Feeling that stretch to the front of your left hip flexor. So of course in ballet, we wanna have really long hips and we don't wanna grip through the hip flexors at all. Trying to find length through this stretch. And now from here, keep the arms as they are. Just tuck your back toes and then lift yourself up to a high lunge. And right away, feel that core again nice and strong. Reaching out through that back heel. Two more breaths. And now from here, you're going to push yourself up. Swing your arms down into warrior three. So stepping up to the top of your mat. And now keep this back leg turned in. So the toes are pointing directly towards the floor. Knee is also towards the floor. And we're totally parallel. And now from here, we're gonna bend into that left knee and stand all the way up. And then we're gonna come back to that warrior three position. Again, just like that, standing all the way up. Feel that engagement through your right hamstring as we stand and then back to warrior three. Twice more, just like that. Let's inhale, pushing to stand, and then exhale to take it back down. Last one, inhale, pushing to stand, and now from here, you're gonna cross that left heel over the top of your right thigh, send your hips back, as if we're sitting in a chair, and then just stretching through the outside of that left hip. So we're in a standing pigeon pose here, you can keep your arms in front of your chest or extend them up overhead right beside your ears. Make sure you keep flexing through that left foot so we protect the knee. Two more breaths. And we'll push to stand once more. Send that left leg back and it's going to make about a 45 degree angle around the center of your mat. On an inhale, grow and get taller. And then exhale, just let your body fold forward. Your arms can come down towards the mat. And we're just coming to this pyramid pose. Relaxing forward. Letting that right hamstring that we just worked relax a little bit more. Always remembering to breathe. 
Remember to square off your hips so that left hip is pulling forward as your right hip is pulling back. So we're not opening up towards the side of our mat. And now from here, step that left foot up beside the right. So they're about hip width distance apart. Let your knees bend and just let your body hang over top of those legs. And from here, we'll take an even deeper plie, bending through those legs, and then roll up nice and slow through the spine, all the way to stand. And right away, as soon as you get to the top, let's inhale, reach the arms up, palms to touch. Exhale, folding forward over those legs. Inhale, lifting up, flat back. Exhale, place the hands on the mat, coming back to plank, and we're gonna hold here for five breaths. So really push the floor away from you, engage through that core, engage through your glutes, the shoulder blades activated. Two more breaths. And on your next exhale, we come all the way down onto your belly. Inhale, coming up to a nice arch through the back. And then on the exhale, tuck the toes, coming back to your down dog. And we'll take a few breaths here, just recentering your breath. Notice how your right leg maybe feels different than the left. Perhaps your right heel is closer to the mat. And if it's not, that's okay too. Just taking note, noticing where we're at at this stage in our practice. And we'll go ahead and even ourselves out. So on your inhale, lifting the left leg up to the sky. Again, you can allow that hip to open up and turn out. And then bending into that knee, bringing it over towards your opposite glute. And then on an exhale, swing it forward, step it between the palms and let the back knee drop onto the mat. Once again, coming into your low lunge here on the second side, feeling that core nice and strong. Relaxing into that stretch in front of your right hip flexor. And now keeping your arms as they are, tucking your back toes, lifting yourself up to a high lunge, so intensifying that stretch, intensifying this posture. Still feeling nice and long, strong, and grounded. Now from here, we're gonna swing the arms forward and down, stepping all the way on up into warrior three. It's really powering in through that left leg. Make sure that right hip is turned in. Everything is parallel to the floor. And then we're gonna push to stand, lifting that knee. And then extend it back out behind you to a parallel position. Inhale, pushing to stand. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, push to stand, feel that engagement through your left hamstring, and back to warrior three. Last one, inhale, pushing to stand. This time, flex the right foot, cross it over top of your left thigh, send your weight back, standing pigeon on the right side. Feel your spine nice and long here. And again, you can reach the arms up overhead if that's what you did on the first side. Breathing into that right glute. Feel that stability through the left leg. And we'll push to stand once again, stepping that right foot back at a 45 degree angle. Inhale to grow and get taller. And then exhale, releasing the hands down towards the mat, releasing your body over that front leg and just breathing. Stretching into that left hamstring that we just worked so hard. Giving it a moment to elongate. And from here, we'll step the right leg in to meet the left, finding another red doll fold. Maybe this time you can grab opposite elbows. Really allow your upper spine to dangle over those legs. And from here, we'll take a deeper plie and then slowly roll up through the spine. Head and shoulders are the last to recover. And as soon as we get to a fully standing position, 
we will right away inhale, arms come all the way up. Exhale, folding forward, root over those shins. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, place the palms coming back to plank. We are once again going to hold for five breaths. So really engaging through the core. Push the floor away from you. Two more breaths, you got this. And on your next exhale, coming all the way down onto the mat. Inhale, up. And exhale, tucking the toes back to downward dog. And we'll just drop both knees onto the mat. Just take a second to catch your breath in a child's pose here. So arms are forward, forehead is melting onto the mat. Let your hips relax towards your heels. We'll only be here for a few breaths, not too long. And so slowly lift your forehead off the mat, walk your hands back in. And then we're actually gonna make our way all the way down onto your stomach. And now you're gonna turn onto your right side. So turning onto your right hip and then bring your legs so they're bent underneath you, but your hips are, or sorry, your feet are still in line with your hips. So we're not curving the legs too close towards us. We're still making this one straight line with the body. And then you can come down onto your elbow here. And I like to place my hand on my hip as I do this, but you can also have your left hand down on the floor here. So all that's gonna happen is in this position, we're gonna open up to turn out and then come all the way back down. And then open up and back down. So of course here we're activating our turnout muscles, just starting to engage the piriformis and our external rotators in your glutes that are gonna help us throughout our class. We'll say this was number nine. I may have lost count a little bit in the middle there. 10. We're gonna go all the way up to 15, 11, and 12. Try to feel as we do this that there is a little bit of resistance. So we're not just flopping the knee open and close. We're pushing something heavy away from us. Let's do two more here. Two, back down, and one. And now stay on this side. You can walk your left foot in, so you're making almost like a retiré position with this foot, with that, uh, the sole of your foot flat on the floor, and then you're gonna turn out to your right leg, so your heel should be pointing up towards the ceiling. Your arms will stay the same here, and then we're just gonna lift that right leg up, and we're gonna pulse it 50 times. So I'll let you count this one on your own, just make sure that you're really lifting that leg, engaging your inner thigh here is what we're going for. Again, something we definitely need for ballet class. So do another 20 to 30 pulses or so. You may start to really feel that inner thigh engage. And we'll release. You can roll over onto your other side. I'm just gonna flip myself over so I'm still facing the camera and I don't turn away from you. So again, setting yourself up, your left hip on the floor, feet right in line with your hips. And from here, opening up, finding that turnout and placing the knee back down. Again, trying to work as if you're pushing something really heavy away with your knee and also finding resistance as you close those knees back together. So we're really trying to work those muscles. Really preparing ourselves to have an excellent ballet class. We'll do five more here. Opening and open. Three. Two more, four, and last one, five. And now we'll extend that bottom leg out underneath us. Again, turning it out, bending that right knee in as much as you can. And 
then you might need to readjust the upper body slightly. Again, make sure you're in one nice long line here and we're not hiking through the hips at all. And then lifting that left leg now off the mat and again, finding your pulses. So 50 pulses on your own time, really engaging that inner thigh. Of course, you'll need this for any of your tendus or even assemblies in the center. And of course, once again, I've lost count, but we'll do another 20 or so here. That's what happens when I talk and demonstrate at the same time. And five, four, three, two, and release. Make your way back up to a seated position. And you're gonna open your legs out to a straddle. And just get yourself comfortable. And we're just going to take a passive stretch forward so we don't have to activate or stretch through the feet or flex or anything like that. Just passively walking the hands out stretching those inner thighs that we just worked. Stretching into those legs. Let your neck relax. Just let your breath return to normal. Let your heart rate return to normal. And I invite you to stay in your forward fold, but I am just going to make my way up in a seated position so I can say thank you for doing this class with me. I'm going to end it here just because this is a preparation for a ballet class, so I don't want to end in Shavasana or something too relaxing. You need to stay engaged and ready for your class. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to SKR Yoga and Wellness. I release new videos for dancers every single Friday. So thank you once again so, so, so much, and have a really great ballet class. Bye.